-hmm. and do like a tail slate after. What's your earliest memory? Well, honey, let's see. I met Nancy in high school, uh, and I had to get permission from the school to date her. So we had a date, and let me tell you, it never stopped after that. She uh, fell in love with this little Norwegian. <laughs> I haven't loved her yet. And now we've been married 30 years. A lady named Vicki has been helping me with Nancy. We're really good friends. How did you meet Don and Nancy? I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been doing little pranks with each other for quite a while. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. In memory care, a lot of times they'll make friends with people, but then by the next day they've forgotten that person. With Don, Nancy, Vicki, it didn't happen that way. Now Nancy can't eat, so Vicki scooted over one day and she said, Don, you mind if I try? And I said, sure, go ahead. They began sitting together during meals. They began walking together in the courtyard. They are great friends, but they also are kids at heart. And as Nancy has declined, Vicki has stepped in and helped Don get him through this time. Tell me about Vicki's husband. I have no idea. And how long were you married? I don't remember. I'd have to find out. Did you lose a husband? Huh? Yeah. You lost a husband. Yeah. That's yeah. A, He's been gone for a while. It's a tough road. Yep. With Nancy, she usually gets tired and goes to sleep. <laughs> if she doesn't like it, pow. <laughs> so bold one you are. I think in his own mind, he thinks that she's gonna go soon. He doesn't know what to do with his life with her gone but the two of them can be there for each other when she does go. True friendship. That's when you get to work together on something and then go out and party. <laughs> and friendship, it is. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't think of it.